Hello everybody. Today Canada conducted its second all program express entry draw, the draw number 227th. But this of course is the second all program express entry draw after the draw that was conducted on July 6th. This draw is a mix of good and bad news. We'll try to analyze it. We'll try to dig deep into the details of this draw. But before that, I quickly want to talk about a big announcement or rather a big update that uh, was published today on the website cicnews.com. So here they have said that Canada plans to hold targeted express entry draws in early 2023. In the past, I've talked about these big changes that would be coming to express entry. And actually, I made a re very recent video around two weeks ago. So this is one video that you should definitely watch. We are talking about this big change in express entry. I'll provide a link to this video in the description box below. But here they have said that department is planning to consult a wide range of uh, stakeholders to inform new categories in express entry as required by the legislation and is preparing for technical implementation in the first quarter of 2023. So they've said first quarter, which means from January to March. So of course, in early 2023, we can actually expect these big changes coming to the express entry. We don't know the details as of now, but it is expected that they would continue conducting the regular draws and in parallel, they would actually conduct these targeted express entry draws as well. So of course, this news is also a relief for many people who are hoping that in the next few months, they could get the ITA because their score is pretty good maybe somewhere in the 480s, in the 490s, or maybe in 500s. And of course, if they were to start conducting these draws this year, then that would have certainly impacted the cutoff score. Now, talking of cutoff score and the express entry draws, of course, we got to talk about the express entry draw that was conducted today. Express entry draw number 227. And the number of limitations issued in this was 1750 which is 250 more than the last express entry draw and the cutoff score is 542 for this draw which means a drop of 15 points now this may sound like a very big drop 15 points is a very big difference and we were expecting something in the similar lines so yes we have already started to see a drop in the cutoff scores or rather a very significant drop the tie breaking rule was for December 30, 2021 at this time. Now here it's very interesting to see, RSEC actually tweeted that they would be gradually conducting these draws and we have already seen that effect of that word gradually because first of all, 1500 invitations were issued and now we see 250 more invitations have been issued. So I really hope that they would increase this number of invitations by every draw, at least for the next few months. But now talking of this year, we have five more months, so we're roughly talking about 10 more draws. So very interesting thing to see here is this CRS score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of July 18th. Mind it, this is two days before the draw was conducted. So of course, at least few more candidates would have entered the pool in the meanwhile. We are not going to talk about all these people because uh, the cutoff score is in this score range of 501 to 600. But very interesting thing that I wanted to show you here is the number of candidates. You see 9,101 candidates. Earlier on June 20, there were 8,000 candidates. On July 6, there were 8,773 candidates. And now on July 18, there are more than 9,100 candidates. Even if we take out 1,750 from it, including some of the people that might have got into the pool in the last two days and the PNP as well, there would still be more than 8,000 people in this score range of 501 to 600. Now, this is concerning because we see more and more people joining the express entry pool with such a score range of 501 to 600. On June 20, there were more than 8,000 people in this score range. And even after two draws, there would still be more than 8,000 people in this score range. So if they don't increase this draw size with a significant margin, I feel it would be very difficult for the cutoff score to drop below 500. And if that happens, of course, there would be many people who would be very upset because people are waiting in this score range of 470s, 480s, 490s, very hopeful that the cutoff score would drop back again. And then in 2023, we are talking about these targeted express entry draws. God knows what would be the shape of the pool and how they would actually structure all of these things. If they start conducting these draws, of course, many people would benefit. 
but many people who have high score would get that hit as well because the cutoff scores are going to be very very high after that but anyways that's for the future we are not going to talk about what's going to happen in early 2023 as of now we don't know too many details around it as and when we get to know more details around it we'll definitely try to make some updated videos thanks a lot for watching this video if you like the video please click the thumbs up button if you have any comments any feedback please put it down in the comment section below and yes once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel before moving on to the next video